I look like a cherry. A cherry. I look like a cherry. Oh, look what's still here. All my stuff from yesterday. Wow. Wow. And the table's all crookedy. Oh, there's those soundboards, which have been here for five years and no one's put up yet. Because even though I've asked nicely, he won't do it. Because he says it's too much work. Wow. They're still there. You know. Follow my Twitter, at Nikocado Avocado. And if you do, I might just follow you back. My little mukbang room is getting out of hand. I mean, yes. 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 Oh, can I eat these? These have probably been here from yesterday. Oh, 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 oh. I look like a cherry. Oh, these are spicy. Mm. Um, 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 kind of stale, but that's okay. Mm. Listen, I am not okay. What's left in here? This is what I had yesterday. Remember? Remember? Real talk right now. I am getting very upset with my weight. It's just never, never ending. I tried to exercise. Today is my off day. When I woke up today, <laughs> there's no water for the chips in my mouth. Real talk. When they say you're supposed to lose weight, you're supposed to do work, 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 rest. Work, 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 rest. Work, 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 rest. Well, today's my rest day. I woke up, I did not go on the treadmill. I did not. I also, yesterday, I forgot to work out after I ate. I was just so upset. So, I'm already behind. I'm already failed. <laughs> it's just so hard to be on schedule. I have so many things to do in my life. I run this channel, I run that channel, I run this platform, I run that platform. The house is constantly in disaster mess because I'm constantly making a mess with all these eating shows. The kitchen, you don't even want to see the kitchen. You don't even want to see it. It is bad. Today I'm going to have KFC, which I'm kind of craving right now. Mm. <laughs> We're going to do some crispy, crispy, cr crunchy chicken. We're going to do, oh, guess what? They're replacing their potato wedges permanently with the brand new secret recipe. We probably have it over here. The box, the proof, the evidence. Where's the KFC section? It's probably, oh, look at all the sauces in a row. Yes, honey. Okay, so I have it back here probably. Where is it? Here. Oh, oh, shh, don't fall here. Back in here, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, get over here, get over here. This just came out recently. It's called the KFC Secret Recipe Fries. I thought they were actually pretty good. Like, it wasn't like checkers good. It wasn't like, well, I don't even like french fries. It wasn't like, you know, what else has good french fries? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> you know, Five Guys is okay. I guess Sonic's okay. McDonald's can be okay if it's fresh. Burger King, I actually really like. Taco Bell and Ultra Fries are really good. I love, okay, I take it back. I love Arby's Season Fries, which are very similar to the flavor of curly fries from Jack in the Box. And I, oh, Popeye's has some great fries, but I don't like french fries. Anyways, I actually thought they were bet I actually I actually thought they were pretty dang good. Oh Wendy's they have that nice potato oil flavor. Mm. Anyways, oh my knees getting snooped. It's getting snapped. So okay, so I saw I saw on the internet that KFC is replacing all of their potato wedges, which are nicely seasoned. Which, what did I have the other day that I thought was really bad? Potato wedges, what was it? What was it from? What did I have recently? Was it from Domino's? No, well, Domino's doesn't have french fries. Where did I have french fries? Where I tried the potato wedges, the seasoned fries, and I was like, ew, these are pretty bad. Where was it? But Oh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Ew, no. Mm. Y'all saw that video. So, um, I think, so, today, well, let's, let's go together. I'm gonna take you in my car today, because, I have no friends. Okay, so we're gonna go, and we're gonna go to the drive-thru, and we're gonna see what they have, because if they still have the potato wedges, this could be our last potato wedge meal till they get rid of it completely. And if they don't, let's get some more containers of these. I wanna, I wanna try these again. Part of me wants to do some other foods besides just KFC, because you know KFC is in the plaza. It has Culver's, it has Five Guys, it has all this stuff. However, 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 I kind of am just craving a big old feast of KFC, that crunchy, crispy chicken. And a little bit of original, I want their mac and cheese, I want their french fries, I like their popcorn chicken, I like everything. Um, Popeyes is better for some things, but I really, I'm craving KFC right now. So, and I also want cheats. And I also don't want to clean this. <laughs> I'm telling you, just for me to get the motivation, the energy, just the vault of vital nerve energy, 
you know, to shock my body and to get me into cleaning this, it's gonna take an hour. I literally have been sitting here for an hour laying my high blood. I see me, I get worse and worse and worse and worse. I should at least snack on a cracker, but no! I need to be hungry for my mukbang because that's my job to be hungry. So anyways, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to clean this. It's stained. I have to wash it with a cloth. And I there's so much things to do over here. Uh, oh, oh, can I also say, there must be some MSG in this, um, this, um, what you would call it, Subway. I woke up feeling really, really bad. I woke, you know, sometimes I eat certain foods and they don't, look at this mess. Sometimes they don't really trigger me. Sometimes, like McDonald's, I never ever feel sick from McDonald's, which is crazy. I feel worse from a plate of kidney beans than I do from McDonald's. Isn't that crazy? Something about beans and anti-nutrients and whatever's in them. Well, also I'm allergic to different preservatives probably, but all I know is MSG is one of those triggers for me and I think I don't know what it was from uh, this place that gave me the trigger, but um, I just, I felt, I just, all oh, my whole body hurts, all my organs hurt, all my muscles hurt. My eyes woke up super extra squinty. You can see the salt bags. These are bags of salt because I did sleep nine hours yesterday. Anyways, um, I don't know if it came from the, um, the sauces that they add. I don't know if it came from like the preservatives and the deli meats. I don't know what it was in this food, but something really did not work with my body. And I woke up today feeling really, really sad. <laughs> I woke up feeling so sad. I woke up feeling like, why do I have to live on this earth? I know I shouldn't even say that out loud. It was really intense feelings of sadness. And you're like, Nick, you eat junk. No wonder it's going to give you all this depression. Blah, 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 blah. No, you guys. No, you guys. Certain things and certain foods give it to me more than others. Like I said, I could have 25 chicken nuggets. It'd be totally fine. Even the ramen noodle. Well, the ramen noodles just have MSG. But it's not as bad. Oh, Little Caesars does it to me, too. So some things have something in them. And, you know, here's the complication with food sensitivities. Unless you eat a, an, an elimination diet where you eat pure whole foods, like just chicken breast, nothing else, no dressing, just an apple, nothing else, just a salad. You have five ingredients. You control what's in that salad. Like for you to pay attention to where it works, take out gluten, take out soy, take out peanuts, take out fried food. For you to really feel in your organism, oh, you know, to really feel what's happening in here. I have a cherry. You have to do this on elimination diet, which is so annoying. So I don't have time for that, you know, it takes a while and some people don't even want to, oh, some people don't even want to do all that. <sighs> I'm still waiting to get my Patreon set up. I'm so, I mean, it is set up. You can go follow me there if you want. I have some videos and stuff, but I'm trying to do some more ex extra stuff. Jeez Louise. Oh my God. It's only a dollar, but ugh. I just feel bad that I'm not, I'm not posting right now because it's just like, obviously there's a lot of content there, and but it's just like, this, I'm so upset with Patreon. They're not getting back to my messages. And I'm a creator. Like, why should I? I sent them an email. I sent them a tweet. I DM them on Twitter. Well, they, I couldn't DM. I don't think that was an option. But one of their support pages, I think I did. But I definitely tweeted them. I DM them three times on my Instagram. Verified. Have a check mark. It should go to the top. They're ignoring me. So um, I don't know what to do about this. Okay. Anyways, um, let's go. Let's go to the KFC. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have to clean this first because when I come back, I want to just start the video. <laughs> I hate cleaning so much. I hate cleaning so much. I hate it. <sighs> I don't want to clean. Mr. Cherry's here. Mr. Cherry is here. Is my KFC. Mr. Cherry looks like a berry. I'm a strawberry, boo. Okay, so I have all this KFC here. Hopefully I got enough. I don't know, don't go shopping when you're hungry, but I just got all my favorite things. Well, I didn't get everything. I really wanted the $5 fill up and I forgot as soon as I was pulling away, but I feel like going back in the line. I got my crispy dark meat only chicken. Yay. And I got not one, but two big old things for me. I got not one, but two large mac and cheeses. Yes. And here's their brand new, ooh. This is their uh, $10 popcorn chicken. Very good deal and you get a lot. Ooh, and I love when it's hot and steamy. Hot and steamy. Bucket number two, dark meat only. This KFC is very diligent. No shenanigans, no attitude. I peeped my head in the window. Everyone, I mean, I could hear people saying, please, thank you, excuse me. Like people were using polite words in, in the workplace. I just love when I see that. Chick fil A, you see it all the time. Popeyes, you never see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I love seeing people happy to be doing their thing or doing what they have to do, going to work, doing their thing, doing their job. 
I'm over here complaining about my job, crying on camera. Here, oops. These are about their brand new secret recipe fries. Wow. Oh. These might be my new favorite french fries from all, I don't even like french fries, but these are good. These are good. Oh my God, they're thick, they're fluffy. They remind me of the um, the little fennel cake, funnel cake um, french fries that Burger King used to sell. Mmm. Oh my God. These are my new favorite things. These are my new favorite french fries. I'm gonna do an animal style french fries with this. Please don't copy me, I'm gonna do it first. <laughs> I got two chicken littles, because they're only two, uh, two dollars each. And then I also got another mac and cheese. I should've got more french fries, those are so good. Okay, so hopefully this is enough food. And I got some sauces down here. These french fries, wow. Oh my God. Okay, this is brand new. Check it out. Yes. I don't even like french fries and those are good. I'm gonna have to compare them to Checkers. Checkers has great seasoning, but they're underwhelming with the customer service. Always. Always, always, always. It's like Popeye's that place. People are just so like upset to be doing their job. It's like, you are replaceable, boo. I worked in the food industry for four or five years before I did the music industry. Okay? You do your job with a happy face, okay? Listen, a job is a job. And I, every time I go to Checkers, it's always attitude, things are wrong, du -du 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 -du. the portions, ugh. But it does taste good. <laughs> it's just like Popeyes, unfortunately. Um, anyways, let's get this all set up to make it nice and pretty, and then we're gonna begin our show. I'm feeling better because I had some food. I'm like Jekyll and Hyde. I'm so angry and I have a bite of food. And I'm like, <gasps> life is okay, life is okay, life is okay. I was just so hungry. <laughs> I was hungry. I'm gonna come out with a shirt that says, I'm hungry. All right, here we go. One, two, three, let's bam together. One, two, three. I'm fat too, we'll be fat together. Just one, just one. Ooh. Just one. Just one, honey, just one. Just do it. Mmm. Right? That's really good. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with these. It's better than checkers. Yeah. Yeah, Checkers has more seasoning and so does Popeyes. They have more like seasoning Cajunness. But these are thicker, they're fluffier, they're very airy, like the funnel cake fries. I should have gotten more. They're so good. I'm literally about to drive out and go get more. Wow. I only got one. Ooh. I know. Bam! Wow! I am so excited for you. So I just did a thumbnail. I had some of this. Oh my god, it's so good. I dipped it in my um Buffalo Wild Wings ranch, which I'm telling you, has the best ranch. Out of all the ranches I've ever had in my life, Buffalo Wild Wings, just, I don't know why, it's just so, 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 so good. So cheers, I got my coldest water bottle. Click the link if you want a discount down below in the description. If you want to get one too. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, let's try the mac and cheese. Actually, let's go to a crispy chicken. Here we go. Crispy chicken, here we go. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. It just tastes like warm, comfort, southern stuffing. <laughs> stuffing has like a wholesome stuffing flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Perfectly greasy. Oh my god. Popcorn chicken over here. So yeah, I'm feasting right now. Mmm. Let's do this beautiful thigh. Oh. There you go. Mmm. Oh, hot. fried chicken so much. <clears throat> Last time I had fried chicken, I said the same thing. I said, growing up, I never ate this. I was vegetarian forever. Mm. 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 Ooh. 
I was so warm. Comforting. Nice southern food. You guys, I still have to do like a southern cooking video. I just don't want to do it alone. I want to do it with a friend. Because I know people will come for me if I mess it up. And I always mess up everything. So I don't even want to be that person. Okay. We have got some mac and cheese. Here we go. It's still so hot. Mmm. Creamy. <gasps> we could put some fire sauce in here. Should we? I think we should. Be right back. Follow my Twitter at Nikocado Avocado. And if you do, I might just follow you back. Fire noodle sauce. Here we go. This comes from the Korean fire noodle challenge. And this, let me tell you, if you buy it in the bottle, it's way less spicy than if you like buy the actual noodles and use the pack that it comes with. I don't know why. It's just so much less spicy. I'm just pour that in there. Ooh. Oh yeah. I don't want to do both because I don't know. Probably won't even eat both, to be honest with you. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I could put on my chicken too. That would be wild. All right, here we go. Let's have another bite of my spicy mac and cheese. Oh, I'm so sad. I Ooh, look at that color. I am so sad though that I didn't get my fill up bowl. That's okay. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Mmm, it's good though. Ooh, so good. Now we have to go with some of these French fries. These French fries. Oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like I'm dropping half of them. I am dropping half of them. Let me try to describe this again for you. Mm, let's put the fire sauce and the cheese. I'm gonna do an animal soft fries with these. These are amazing. Amazing. <clears throat> chicken little. Highly recommend the littles. I do not recommend the KFC chicken sandwiches. They're not good, I've tried all of them. But this is good. Mmm. Mmm. Leaning Tower of Pisa over here. Oh. <clears throat> mm. This is good. I can go a little bit some barbecue. Mmm. Mmm. Mayo. Mayo, spicy stuff. The chicken is so crispy. And I just love that Nashville hot sauce. You guys know I love it. Mmm. I'm no longer mad. <laughs> I'm no longer mad. <clears throat> mm -mm. I need to write a letter to the CEO of Buffalo Wild Wings and ask them to please sell their ranch. People will buy it. I've tried ranch from Burger King, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, <clears throat> In-N-Out. I've had ranch from every restaurant. You name it, Carl's Jr. Nothing is memorable as Buffalo Wild Wings Ranch. Nothing. Nothing is as memorable. Um, and maybe there's things that have come close and I just forgot because I eat Buffalo Wild Wings kind of often. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Ooh, it is spicy. Okay, I want to do. Let's do a um, a leg with some fire sauce. I don't know why I want even want to do this. <laughs> Ooh, <clears throat> but this one's less spicy. It just tastes good to me. All right, I'm gonna do it back here because if it spills, I don't want it to go everywhere. Very softly. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Cheers! As I literally drip it on everything. <clears throat> Ooh, there it goes. Ooh, 
There it goes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I just say how amazing this meal is right now? Thank you. Mm. Oh, my stomach is on fire and I love it. <laughs> this is spicy, man. Oh God, yeah. Can I go and let it drip in there? Oh, just look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Definitely less spicy than the noodles. I don't, do they even indicate that on the package? Maybe they do, it's in Korea. <clears throat> Korean, I don't know. But it's definitely less spicy than the noodle packs. Like it's delicious. I mean, it's still spicy. I mean, my parents could eat this, but. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Wow. I'm enjoying my food. <laughs> I'm enjoying my food right now. Let's do some popcorn chicken over here. It's kind of like hiding. Okay. Wonderful flavor. Mmm. They're still very soft too. Oops. That's the worst thing about popcorn chicken. Mmm. Is that if you let it sit too long, it gets hard, and then you try heating it up, it's still hard. Turns to dog food. Mm. You don't want to eat dog food. Uh -uh. Eat it right away. Mm. I just needed a good old meal. <laughs> like Nick, you eat for a living. No, no, no. I needed a good old meal. And these french fries, oops. Wait a minute, I'm make, I can't see what I'm doing. We're gonna pull these out. I'm gonna stick them back here for a minute and we're gonna pull these fries out. So, excuse me, when I go to like grab some, it's not flying everywhere, here we go. Very good job, Burger King, on your new fries. I would say it's an upgrade from the potato wedges. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what I would love to be? A food taster tester. <clears throat> when I quit YouTube. I, I'll probably never quit, let's be real. I'm here forever. But, uh, I don't know, I just feel like I love tasting food. I feel like everyone does though. Who's a food taster tester? Hey Siri. Okay, never mind. How am I gonna do this without a square? Here we go, we'll put it down over here. I just want like a little bit on the french fry. Ooh, on the french fry. Oh, that's spicy. <clears throat> oh. I would love to be a food taster tester. 
Yes. I'm having so much fun with this sauce. I didn't think I would have. It's very staining though, be very careful. It's, it stains like no other. Ugh. I should be using gloves just to open it. I ran out of gloves. I'm going to have to use Orland's gloves now if he lets me. <clears throat> he probably will. Or maybe he won't. <sighs> okay, here we go. Look at that delicious chicken little. Look at all that spice being soaked into the bun. Oh my God. <laughs> this is very good. This whole meal, by the way, they gave me how many forks? One just dropped on the floor, which is why I'm getting another. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this supposed to feed seven people? Really? I would think maybe three or four. Maybe four, four. Seven. Rationed. <clears throat> Little rations going on. <laughs> mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I have classical music playing in my head right now. Oh my God.
here we go. Ooh, ooh. I'm having so much fun right now. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. The amount of grease in that one. Who? So greasy. Here we go. Ooh. Mmm. Uh. Um. <clears throat> Did I open up a new fork app? Let's do it. I don't think I did. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Back to this mac and cheese. Bleh. Excuse me. I didn't get any biscuits. Not like I care, I hate the biscuits. <laughs> From anywhere. I don't like any, I'm not a biscuit person. Never have been, never will be. Even if there's like a biscuit sandwich. Sausage, egg, cheese, ham, blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm. I just hate that dry, powdery cotton flavor taste texture thing. I've never liked biscuits, ever. Oh my God, this is really spicy now. Let's go back to my popcorn chicken. Look how pretty it looks too. Mmm. Cheese. Look at all this stuff. <clears throat> Grubhub. Please share your comments with the manager. We are committed to helping the environment. Really? I say every single person on this earth needs to plant three trees. Every person needs to plant three trees. <clears throat> boom. Greenery, boom. More oxygen. Boom, less carbon dioxide, boom. More habitat for animals, boom. Cooler weather, trees create uh, more rain. Boom, 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 boom. Especially with these wildfires that happen in the world. We need to offset that. We need to bring that balance back. Every person should plant three trees. And, oh, 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 oh. and those who can't plant, you know, in a wheelchair, disabled, too young, too old, whatever. Have someone plant them on their behalf. Every person should have three trees next to their name. Somewhere in the world. Doesn't that sound cool? Doesn't it sound like a good idea?
Oh, hi. <clears throat> I am daydreaming. It felt so good to just kind of eat. <laughs> Man, these fries. Highly recommend trying them. It feels so good to just eat. <gasps> oh my god. Very flaky. <clears throat> Very crummy. There's crumbs everywhere. That's probably the downside people might not like. They're very flaky. Crumbs go running wild with these. Crumbs everywhere. I'd say more than any other fry I can think of right now. Very flaky. Mmm. Mmm. We are as committed to the environment as we are to our food and to our customers. To learn, learn more about the packaging and environmental initiatives, please visit us at kfc.com slash packaging. Sustainable forestry initiative, certified sourcing. So all of this trees that got turned into this, they're saying came from a sustainable thing, a tree farm. I just feel like there should be more trees planted in places. Help. You know, that's why I love about Washington, D.C. when I lived there. Man, there's trees everywhere. Every every corner, every block, every street. Maybe not so much in the... Um, <clears throat> um, certain areas more so, yeah. Like, Upper East Side, Upper West Side. Um, there's just so many pre trees. The parks are so cute. Um, I feel like I imagine the future, everyone having green roofs. You know, roofs that are... You know, you layer it with a like a steel sheet, some kind of steel or cement roof. Already that would help with insulation versus uh, wood or something. But then you plant a garden on top of your roof that just stays there, <clears throat> just like greenery. Um, that would help keep the house cool. I mean, I'm thinking here in Florida where it's really hot, but even up north, keep the heat inside, you know, have the roof be green. You have like something up there. <clears throat> It helps to insulate, it helps to um, protect from leaks. You'd think it would cause more leaks actually because the roots absorb, everything kind of bounds together. It's really cool how that all works, but um, we need more greenery in this world. That's why I could never live in California. Well, for many reasons, you guys know I don't like. I don't like, I mean, unless I go to another nice hotel and pretend I bought a house again, <clears throat> please just enjoy the video. <laughs> No, I couldn't. I couldn't live somewhere so dusty and, ugh, I don't know, not just, ugh. It's not even that, because I actually love Las Vegas, which is really hypocritical. Me and Orland think about living there sometimes. We're like, we, we should move to Las Vegas. We actually love Las Vegas. But, well, he's never been there. <laughs> but I love Las Vegas. Um, which is very hypocritical, because that's just his drive, whatever. But I, I don't know what it is about LA. The pollution, the people, the price, everything. <laughs> Excuse me, nothing wrong with the people. It's just too many people, too spread out. Like, at least in New York, you're all stacked up on top of each other. New York's just, I, we're not gonna talk about cities again. I feel like every other video here on this channel, I'm daydreaming about living somewhere else. I'm always doing that. The grass is always greener on the other side. Always. Figuratively and literally, because we're over here talking about trees. Anyways, um, I feel full. This was really good to just eat with you guys. It was so good to just... I was, in, I was in a moment. I was like totally in a moment. Wasn't I? Excuse me, I was really just... Mm, with my food. Being present with my food. I mean, I guess, in a way. <clears throat> well, anyways, thank you so much for your time. How many do I have? Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now some of them, well, this one I finished. So let's say seven in total. 
I've had seven pieces of chicken. All, I'd say at least half that large french fry, half this mac and cheese. And I don't really eat that much popcorn chicken. Well, let's like put it up on Maybe one third of it. I don't know. I think I ate a lot. I always eat till I'm full. My body knows when I hit 3,000. It's like, you're done. So, let's have one last french fry because I'm so excited about these. Oh, it's just very nice texture and flavor and flavor. And I asked the lady, I said, do you still have potato wedges? She goes, no. And I said, is that just this location or everywhere? She goes, everywhere. So no more potato wedges from KFC. Maybe they, maybe they, maybe the people who run KFC were looking at their spreadsheets. What items were purchased the most? Well, I mean, now that, uh, Chick-fil-A has mac and cheese. This is definitely not as good. Chick-fil-A is king of mac and cheese right now from all the other places. But you know, the people at KFC looked and said, okay, people are purchasing the potato wedges the least from this restaurant. We need to do something else. Break it. something new, something exciting, so. Okay, this was excellent. There's still so much food left. I wish you could come over and eat this with me. I'm probably gonna film a second video, most likely for one of my channels, so many channels in this world. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna start using my bigger water bottle. I go through this so easily. I do drink a lot of water, you guys. Bye, thank you for your time. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you wanna keep up to date with me. Follow all my other YouTube channels if you'd like. Um, and thank you for the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow, have a wonderful day. Bye.